So what we want to do here is we want to be able to identify conjugate acid and conjugate base pairs. And I'm going to show you the procedure that you need to be able to do. So we'll start out with a balanced equation. I'll just go ahead and write it down here. And these are all aqueous. aqueous of course meaning that they're in water. Now first thing you need to do is figure out which one is the acid and which one is the base. Now the acid and the base are always on the left hand side. Your conjugate acid and conjugate base are always on the right hand side. So what we're going to look for first let's just find the acid. Now the acid is going to be the one that loses the proton, the proton being an H plus. And we look over here and do we see which one has lost and H and I believe it's right here so you got nitric acid becoming the nitrate ion this H was lost and since H has a plus charge this is now a minus charge so it's pretty safe to say that this is the acid right here now if that's the acid the other one is the base but we can verify that this is the base and what's the definition of a base well a base is anything that is a proton acceptor according to Bronsted Lowry and sure enough we can see the ammonia has has accepted a proton to become the ammonium ion and so this makes the ammonia a base now we gotta decide which ones are the conjugate acid and conjugate base now here's the thing the base the, con the paired up pair is with the conjugate acid this base gained a proton to become the conjugate acid. The conjugate acid means that it's an acid that's on the right hand side and it's going to go back in equilibrium and it's going to release one of these H pluses, one of these H's, hydrogens, to become NH3 and that's the definition of an acid is it's going to be a proton donor and it goes back this way. See, that's an acid because it's going to lose a proton going this way. This is a base because it's gaining a proton going back this way. So this is the conjugate acid. And by the same token, this is an acid going this way to the nitrate because we donate a hydrogen, become the nitrate. And so this is the acid, this is the conjugate base. Conjugate base, what we can verify that to become to go back the other way, it would actually gain a proton. And what is a base? It's anything that is a proton acceptor going back the other way. And so sure enough, that is the conjugate base. And then the last thing we need to do is draw a line between the pairs. So the ammonia goes with the ammonium. And the nitric acid goes with the nitrate. And there we go, we have this uh, equation labeled for the conjugate acid base pairs. Now we can do another one. And we have the following equation. Once again, you have to remember that the acid and the base are always going to be on the left side and your conjugate acid and conjugate base are always going to be on the right hand side. So we have to decide which one, let's just start with the acid. Which one of these has will lose a proton going to the right hand side? 
Well, it looks like that if you look at the water, it's going to gain a proton. Well, that makes it a base. The HBr, hydrobromic acid, loses a proton to become the bromide ion. So that must mean this one's the acid. Conversely, this one must be the base because it's going to gain a proton as it goes from this side to this side. Once again, a proton being an H+. Plus. Now we need to find a conjugate acid. Well, look, this loses a proton going from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. So therefore, this must be an acid. And since it's on the right-hand side, we'll call it the conjugate acid. And conversely, the bromide can pick up a proton, or H+, plus going from right to left. And since a proton acceptor is a base, we'll call that the conjugate base. And finally, we need to connect them up. There's a water. There's a hydronium. This is what gained the proton. Therefore, this is the pair that goes together. Same thing here. This is a hydrogen bromide or hyd hydrobromic acid. And it goes in between here just like that. And there you go. We've identified the conjugate acid-base pairs. Here's a pair. There's a pair.